tender beef cooked in red wine. Today, on Grandma Bessie's house, we are cooking braised short ribs in red wine, and these ribs are fall off the bone good. The recipe and its ingredients are in the video's description. We are going to start by seasoning the beef ribs. Coat ribs with olive oil. I'm using the spray. Mix together dried spices and generously season your short ribs. Sit your ribs to the side and take a second to give this video a thumbs up and share it. Check out our other videos and if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button followed by the notifications link. This keeps you current on new videos. Preheat oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. To prep seasoning, chop onions. Add them to a bowl. Repeat with shallots. Celery. and bell pepper, but remember to remove the seeds. Roughly chop garlic and set it aside. Chop parsnips and place them in a separate bowl. Carrots too. What's your favorite food to braise in the oven? Let us know by leaving a comment below the video. Over medium heat, spray a Dutch oven or a large pot with nonstick spray and coat it with olive oil. Add short ribs, meat side down. Cook about three minutes per side or until they get a nice brown crust on them. When browned on both sides, remove from pot and set aside on a plate. Repeat for all ribs. Once the ribs have browned, add onions, shallots, celery, and bell pepper to the pot. Combine and cook about five minutes. Add thyme. and the remaining dried spices. Stir. Add garlic and cook about one minute. Deglaze the pot with red wine and combine. Bring to a boil. Low heat to simmer and reduce wine by half, about 10 to 12 minutes. Combine. You should have noticed how the red wine has reduced. Add beef broth, carrots, and parsnips. Stir to combine. And return beef spare ribs to pot. Add a sprig of rosemary, cover pot, and cook for 90 minutes. While ribs are in the oven, take a second to like and share this video. Also, subscribe to our channel and click the notifications link. This helps our channel grow. At 90 minutes, check ribs along with gravy. If the gravy is low, add more broth. See the video's description for details. Once your gravy is where you want it, turn ribs. You see, they are already falling off of the bone. Cover pot and return to oven for another 90 minutes. When finished, place ribs on a plate to tend to gravy.
tent ribs with oil. If you want thicker gravy, add water to flour and combine until syrupy. Add flour mixture to gravy and stir. Add balsamic vinegar and stir one final time. Return ribs to pot and make sure they get covered in that delicious gravy. Serve this meal with grits or polenta. Thank you for watching another episode of Grandma Bessie's House.